comedian Peter Kay is perhaps better known for leaving audience members in fits of laughter rather than having a public dispute with a rock star. But at the 2010 Brit Awards, that is exactly what happened after the stand-up comedian called Oasis frontman Liam Gallagher a K-head, for throwing the microphone and the award into the crowd after collecting it for Best Album of 30 Years. And the funny man has now attributed this incident for being the reason he is now banned from hosting the iconic music award show. When Liam took to the stage he thanked everyone in his former band for their efforts in making the album What's the Story, Morning Glory a worldwide hit, but failed to mention his brother Noel. On his departure from the stage, Liam then threw his microphone and award into the crowd, which prompted Peter to make the caustic remark. And now, speaking of the jaw-dropping incident in his autobiography, Peter said, Liam Gallagher won an award. He swaggered on stage to collect it, then threw it into the audience and walked off. He could have hit somebody in the face with it. What a K head, I thought. So I said just that when I walked back to the mic what a K head. He added, I wasn't trying to be controversial, or stir trouble, I just said what was on my mind. That might be the reason why I've never been invited back to present the Brits again. But their feud didn't end there. Liam retaliated to Peter's put down as he took to social media to blast the comedian. On Twitter he wrote, Listen up fat F. As a real northerner I was brought up to say SD two people's faces not behind their back. Live forever LG sick, and surprisingly, the pair ended up in a war of words as Peter then responded to the singer on his website by saying, So it was the Brits last night and I was honored to be asked to host the show especially with it being 30 years old. Congratulations to all the winners, including Noel Gallagher who sadly didn't get a mention, and who thankfully isn't a K-head. But now, turning his attention to his future career plans, the TV star has said he would like to bring back his hit show Phoenix Nights as a film. He told The Sun, as the years pass, I'm becoming more like Brian, but if Phoenix Nights rose again it'd have to be for something very special, maybe a film? Perhaps Brian could get visited by three ghosts. Now, wouldn't that be an idea? The show started in 2001 as a spin-off from its episode in Peter's docu-series That Peter K Thing. Phoenix Knights went on to achieve commercial success over the two series but only 12 episodes of the comedy were ever created. The cast reunited for a stint on stage in aid of comic relief in 2015. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.